So go ahead and put your mask on. When you get relaxed, I'm putting one of those three colors in your screen. It's either the red, the yellowy orange, or the green. Doesn't matter if you get it right or not. This is just to start accessing your mindset. So go empty, let go, be passive observer, and notice if there's a very slight, slight haze of color in the darkness of your mask. And just vaguely look around, no concentration, just go with fuzzy eyes. So you're vaguely noticing, but you're not concentrating. What color comes to your visual field? Even move your head a little bit. Remember, we have that sort of beam of attention, beam of intention, and it needs to see the color. So you may have to move and scan a little bit and just relax and let go and see if there's a very slight haze of color or dots of color or a flash of color. You can even get this intuitive wise. It could come as a voice, your own voice that announces the color. You could have a very strong feeling that you get a sense it's this color. You could say, I feel the energy and the energy is this color. Many different ways it can come. Even putting your hands up, you can sense it through your hands. And it could give it to you in your visual field as a slight haze or fog of color. Very subtle is usually how it starts off. There's no concentration. See something, say something. Is that a yellow? Yes, it is. Lift your mask oh, wow. up a little bit and check it out. Just lift a little bit and put it back down. There you hmm. go. You need to stay black, darken the mask. Well done. Well, very good. That is your mind sight. Continue to take control of your breathing. Now, this is a normal thing. You're not making your mind sight work, Cher. You're letting it work. But it has always been doing this the whole time. All you're doing is getting out of your left brain. All you're doing is getting relaxed so that you can finally see these things that have always been there. All that's changed is you're getting relaxed. That's it. Now, let's take one of the four dice. We're putting that in the screen. Again, these are advanced. You may only get a few of these in the whole session. That's okay. Just so start your mind sight operating. And one of the four colored dice, not only is there a color on it, there is a pattern of dot or dots on it. So you're free to move your hands as if you're sensing from your hands also. Many people do pick up the mind sight through their hands. The brain puts all the energy together into an image and it will give it to you. Let go. You pass the observer. Go empty meaning just release any thoughts that you might be getting. Don't push them out, but don't hang on to them either. Let them be on their way. And it's one of the six numbers from one to six. Three. I'm going to give you that. Three. Six. And your mind sight likely saw one of the rows. Good job on that. Well done. This one is going to be a different exercise. We have the three colors, red, yellow, and green. I'm going to take two of those three colors. And I'm putting them in your screen, one on top of the other. So scan up and down. You can look up as high as you can because many people, their mindset comes from under their chin, especially when they're starting. Mm -hmm. And scan down, and as your beam passes across the colors, there are two colors in your screen. Go all the way down, and what two colors appear in your screen? Go empty. Take the attitude you don't care. All of that is left brain. What two colors? Vague haze of color. Especially in the beginning, they're not necessarily going to be sharp or strong. When you start to connect to your right brain, to your mind sight, it usually starts off very subtle and very weak. So you just have to let go and see if there's a very light haze of fog of the two colors. I think it's yellow and green. Yes, it is yellow and green. Very good. One's on top and one's on the bottom. So can you tell me the order of the yellow and green? So let go of any pressure. Let go of any thoughts. Go empty. The yellow is in the bottom and the green is on the top. Lift your mask up just a little bit. Take a look. And you can give yourself a big pat on the back for that. I'm going to take one of the white letters on black. Put it in your screen. One of the letters from A to Z. This is the long shot. I don't expect you to get it. One of 26 letters. Even if there are distractions around you, you can actually put your mind to those. It actually helps. 
If there's noises or sounds and you hear them, you can move your attention to that and engage your left brain with that. That's very good. Is and that an S? I'm going to give it to you. Take a look. Lift your mask. I'm going to give this to you and you'll see why. Hmm. Every S and a Z are very similar in your mindset when you're learning because it's that basic shape. Very good. That is so well done here. Very few people get letters on their very first session. Excellent on that one. This one is that Nikolai card. It's got the triangle, circle, plus, and square appearing randomly all over the card. And there's four by seven of the symbols. I'm going to start moving my finger around the card, and you tell me when to stop, and I will stop on one of those symbols. Stop. Okay. I'm pointing my finger up. My index finger up at one of the symbols. See my nail, and right above my nail, it's one of the four symbols. Which one of the four? Triangle. A triangle is up and to the left. So one more try. Well, don't try, just notice. Just observe as you continue to control your breathing. Okay, what's that? A circle. Yes, it is. It's a circle, yeah, yeah. Quite often, the person will get it on the second try. Let's go to those letters again. These are the white letters on black. And I found one that I'm putting on your screen. It's one of the 26 letters. Go empty. It's completely let go. Breathe slow and deep. That releases the left brain. It gets you relaxed. Maybe it's an, um, maybe it's an L. Okay. Did you say N or L? L. L? L for Larry or N for November? L for Larry, but it's funny because I said L, but I did N with my, my hands. Okay, now it is part of an N. It is a V, which is two-thirds of an N, right? So very good on that. There is a two-letter word on this card. No need to get the whole word. Let's ask your mind say, to give you either letter of this word. If you see the word, say the word, but we're only asking it to give us one or the other letter. Let go. Say go. You got the O correct. That's very good on that. So we're going to do one last one real quick. We're going to take three of the picture cards and I'm not going to show you what they are in advance. I'm just going to tell you what they are. One is a square, a solid square that's uh, light blue. The other is an orange orange. Somebody's taken an orange and cut it in half and you see all the triangles of the orange. And the other is a brown rabbit. Now I'm going to shuffle them here and I'm going to put them under the desk and I'm going to grab one at random and I put it in your screen. It's going to be a very short one. I'm going to do a countdown on this. Five, four, three, two, one. Either color, shape, or word. Which of the three cards is it? The brown uh, bunny. Lift your mask off. Take it right off. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. Yeah. Any questions you've got, just feel free to write me anytime. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time. It was super fun for me too. And yeah. I'm looking forward to continue. Hopefully I can come to Canada. And it'd be great to meet you in person. Let's keep in touch. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye, Sure.